Hello people, what's up? How are you all doing? Welcome to the session. My name is Anup and this is Vidanto Naik, the English channel. I hope all of you guys are doing good and uh, taking good care of yourself in these quarantine times. I know it's super boring out there, but uh, please stay home, stay safe and uh, if you can, get vaccinated as well. So yes guys, welcome, a very very warm welcome. Today's topic is going to be a rather interesting one. We'll be talking about Supernova, uh, the beautiful death of a star. So we're going to talk about that. So a very warm welcome, stay till the end because there's some amazing information that is going to wow you people. Uh, so make sure that you stay till the end and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as well, right? So that said, let's get started. now. Let's start with something that you already know. Our sun is a star. Simple fact, you already know that. Now, our sun is actually an average size star. Another fact, it's not a massive star. It's just an average size star. There are bigger stars out there, right? Like you know, in your school, you have big kids, right? So our, our star is like a, like a tiny little kid, you know? It's like in the UKG first, K, first standard and all that. But there are people who are in 10th standard and all that. You know, they're much bigger. So that's how it is. Now, our supernova is something that happens only when a massive star dies. So let me get that out of the way first. Our sun will never become a supernova because our sun is a very average size sun or an average size star. Massive star, for example, there's a star called as UI Scuti, which is one of the closest, largest star that we have. And that, when it eventually dies, could probably end up in this stage or would pass through the stage called as the supernova. So here are the different stages guys. A massive star when it's born, it's born from a cloud of dust called as a nebula. Now this dust will have you know hydrogen and helium and other gases which would basically because of the gravity they would combine together and basically form what is known as a star. Now this star after a billion you know a couple of billion years will turn into something called as a red supergiant that is once all the hydrogen gas is used up it will start to swell up about 20 times the actual size which is known as the red superstar once it passes that stage there's a lot of ex there's you know a lot of energy being released out due to a massive explosion known as the supernova and once the supernova stage is passed Either that massive star, which was which was a massive star, will become a black hole, or it could end up being what is known as a neutron star. So one of these stages, one of these long, beautiful life of a star, in one of those stages, you have what is known as the supernova. So it is nothing but a massive a massive or a colossal explosion, as it is, as it is mentioned on the screen, where tremendous amount of energy is released that eventually that the amount of energy that is released during a supernova is so much that our sun whatever the lifeline of our sun is how much of our energy it releases out throughout that entire lifeline this supernova would be able to release greater than that in just a couple of seconds that much amount of energy is released during the supernova now imagine that our sun which releases tremendous amount of energy which supports life as we know it its entire lifeline its entire lifetime it will not be able to produce as much amount of energy as a supernova does in just a few seconds so you can imagine the amount of energy being released out just in a flash that is what is a supernova now here's the thing guys our galaxy itself that is the milky way galaxy contains billions of stars right close to about 200 billion stars is what we have now mathematically speaking we must be able to see or notice at least one supernova every 50 odd years or so and what is the reason for that? Because there are 200 billion stars. So out of all those stars, there is a possibility that major, like some, some part of it would be massive stars. And when they eventually die, they should be able to, you know, uh, go through the stage called a supernova and we should be able to see it. But the fact is this, guys, the amount, the number of supernovas that is visible to us is far, far, far lesser. In fact, we could pass our entire lifetime and could never see a supernova ever so it's it's a very rare phenomenon so here's the thing guys however there is one 
very clear supernova uh, one of the most famous supernovas of them all it is called the crab nebula and this is something which is located near the taurus you know the taurus is the the bull wala constellation there's one right so near that constellation the, bull, the taurus the bull constellation this uh, is actually uh, present and this is something which is one of the most beautiful sight to uh, to have been caught up and in fact you know a lot of sci-fi movies like uh, you know star trek and all that they i think it's star trek if i'm not wrong in star trek and all that maybe in star wars also i'm not really sure but star trek for sure uh, you know you can uh, see you can notice all these kind of pictures that are there uh, you know i don't know if you guys are a fan of sci-fi movies but if you do watch you'll be able to see all these kind of beautiful pictures and yes once again uh, all of them shows how beautiful our space is and yes guys when the explosion happens while the explosion is happening during the supernova there's also an implosion as well and this implosion would lead it to what i told you as before known as a neutron star now this neutron star is basically a very dense matter all right it's a very dense matter it's actually a magnetized uh, you know what to say you can say it's a, it's, a, it's a magnetized high energy uh, cosmic ray producing uh mass which produces a lot of high energy cosmic rays it also you know it releases uh, electromagnetic radiation and it's basically magnetized uh, you know with a with a proper spin to it so it it has uh, you can say it's, it's a magnetized spinning a uh, fast spinning star that is what is a neutron so this neutron this, uh, you can detect it by uh, because it releases something called as a pulsars and we have certain uh, you know certain devices that can actually or detectors which can detect this pulsars and these pulsars are very high energy cosmic rays which can be detected and uh, you know we can come to the conclusion that okay there was a, there's a neutron star uh, at so and so distance away or we are able to detect which direction it is actually coming from right so that's about the neutron star people and with that we also have two other types of uh, novas and supernovas so there's one type of explosion called as a supernova which we just learned right now so when a massive star dies it ends up becoming a supernova a nova is one where you have binary stars you know binary stars like where are two uh, where two there are two stars very close to each other so there's gravitational force acting on one another and one of the stars one of the two stars is called as a dwarf star one of them you know is considered to be the smaller one and the other is considered to be the bigger one so there's which there's you know there's gravitational force which is trying to pull each other closer so what happens is that in when there are two binary stars like this the dwarf star the smallest star will have an explosion on the outer surface only on the outer surface producing a lot of radiations producing a lot of energy that is what is called as a nova that is what is called as nova and supernova as i uh, as i already mentioned when a massive star ends up dying that ends up being a supernova so that's how they are classified into so you have type 1 supernova which is nothing but this nova that we just talked about the type uh, that is that occurs in the binary star system where one star is referred to as the dwarf star and the surface of the dwarf star creating an explosion is what is known as the nova it is not that big of an explosion it does not much energy release but it is still considered as you know tremendous amount of energy then you have type 2 supernova where massive 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 star a star that is about 40 times more heavier than our sun uh, when it ends up you know when it uh, eventually comes to its end releases tremendous amount of energy that is what is called as type 2 supernova right guys so that is all about supernovas and that is about it for today's session i hope you enjoyed it i hope i was able to convey a couple of things to you guys now whatever doubts you have you can let me know in the comment section and we'll have a proper you know conversation on that thanks a lot for joining and yes guys with on two four subscription courses you guys know about it are starting from these days again once these batches have filled up you will have to wait for another month to enroll into the buyer batches and my suggestion to you guys being a teacher i would say this that do you start your preparations as soon as possible so yes get enroll into it and enjoy yeah right? so you have cbse batches starting from 10th of may and uh, for 9th as well as 10th for icse 24th of may for 9th and 10th maharashtra 24th of may for 9th and 10th 
for JE people move from 10th to 11th it's 10th of May and for NEET 10th to 11th is again 10th of May so what are you supposed to do people all you have to do is click on any of the videos that is there so yeah right now this is the one of the videos that is going on I mean that that was that happened yesterday so what you do is subscribe to Vedantu Pro right now either in the comment section I would rather suggest you to do, go to the description box and click on subscribe to Vedantu Pro right now click on this link and this link will take you to every Thing, whatever you need so let's say you're in class 10th you are giving your CBC board you can choose the board target board target exam everything can be chosen over here once you choose it you can see all the plans for you guys so we have three we have without the light within the classic and without the plus all three have different advantages and disadvantages so you have within the light where you have interactive live sessions test series and analysis notes and assignments doubt in class unlimited doubt solving but there's no doubt solving outside the class and there's no personal mentor in classic you have doubt solving app outside the class as well in plus you have doubt solving as well as personal teacher or personal mentor who will ensure that who's with you clearing all of your doubts you have you'll be having one-to-one -one sessions with that person and he'll ensure that your subject matter is very 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 clear so the prices of that would also differ whatever you prefer you can go with that so i would suggest you to go with a one month program and then if you you know if you want to continue it then again renew the package that is the best way to go about it or if you want you want to go money is not a problem and you want to uh you know just uh, get started then you can go for the year-long program so you have uh the year-long program for light which starts at twenty-seven thousand, and per month program around 2600 now again once you click on this an automatic coupon code will also be applied all you have to do is log in and the price would drop down around 2300 or something so yeah it's going to be much more less than what it is seen over here even for the complete course it will drop down around 25 26 thousand something around that and within the classic again depending on what you have like you know if you don't have any money problem then go ahead pay 35,000 uh, you know at once uh, or you can just uh, try the one month course which would be much more lesser than what is seen over here and again without the class uh, plus also is the exact same thing you can check it out all in the description below lots and lots of opportunities you can check out all the teachers will be teaching you Abhishek sir you know Amrit sir, Sarabhi ma'am lots and lots of amazing teachers uh, Harshpriyam sir, Kritika ma'am, Nikhil sir lots and lots and lots of top teachers will be there to help you guys excel in your exams so every single you know uh, chapters every single subjects will be covered over here math uh, you know physics chemistry bio uh, english social science everything so if you just think about it 2300 let's say that is the cost so you have about you know uh, six subjects five subjects in total we'll be teaching over here math english science uh, all these subjects of science as well as social science so that means six subjects in total we'll be teaching over here so that will cost you around 200 maybe 300 rupees per subject which is actually lesser than what you would give to a nearby teacher as well right so yeah guys, that's pretty much it from my side thanks a lot for joining do not forget to like share and subscribe and yeah if you have anything else to ask me comment section right below let's see if you have any doubts or not all right so until the next time we meet people thank you for joining catch you guys in the next session until the next time we meet this is an upsetting of the day have a great day ahead take care and bye bye